Hello, my name is Mustafa Hirji. I am the Acting Medical Officer of Health for Niagara Region Public Health. I'd like to update you on the latest situation with COVID-19 or novel coronavirus in Niagara. Over the past two weeks, we've identified 10 cases of COVID-19 in Niagara. All of these cases have been travel related with most linked to travel to the United States, the country that has now overtaken China to have the most cases of COVID-19 in the world. As of today, we have now been notified of our 11th case, a man in his 30s who has been infected with COVID-19. Fortunately, he is recovering at home and is not needed medical care. While the investigation is ongoing, it appears this gentleman did not travel internationally, and so we believe this infection was due to community exposure within Ontario. We have been expecting local transmission for a while, given what we are seeing elsewhere in Ontario and in Canada, so this is not unexpected and should not be a cause for alarm. It is also noteworthy that this person is a staff member at one of our local schools, St. Francis Catholic Secondary School. While exposure at the school was limited, out of caution, we are notifying all of the staff and students of the school. Our advice to them is to monitor for symptoms for the next 14 days. The main symptoms they should be watching out for are a new or worsened cough or a fever. However, other symptoms that might arise include a sore throat, muscle aches, fatigue, a runny nose, and in severe cases, difficulty breathing. If any staff members or students of the school and really anybody else in the public who develops these symptoms, they should immediately contact public health or their healthcare provider to be assessed further. For more information on how to reach us in public health and to learn more about novel coronavirus, please visit niagaregion.ca slash health. With the possibility of local transmission of COVID-19 now in Niagara, it is more important than ever that we all do our civic duty to break the chain of transmission in Niagara. This means practicing physical distancing and keeping two meters away from other people as much as possible, minimizing our interaction with anybody outside the home, and particularly if we get sick, making sure that we isolate ourselves and call public health. And finally, washing our hands often to make sure we're not spreading the, any infection. Finally, I want to acknowledge that this is a difficult time for many in our community. Many are frightened by the threat of COVID-19. Many businesses are closed and people are out of work and may be struggling to make ends meet. Stress levels are high. This is a time for us to reach out to these members of our community and lend them our support. Our greatest asset during this time will be sticking together to take actions that stop the spread of the virus and to help each other out. If all of us stick together and do our part, I am confident we can prevent the virus from spreading widely in Niagara. Thank you, and we will continue to update you as new developments arise.